All right, guys, what's up? Back with another video. So if you were a student in a class and the teacher came up to you and they gave you back your uh, semester exam and they gave you like a D or an F, you might be kind of pissed, right? Um, you'd be more pissed if the teacher was giving you work time on the problems that were going to be on the test and they never came around to correct your errors or to kind of guide you before you failed, right? So in the same way, when you're watching a game or you're refereeing a game and you have an opportunity to correct or to give input to a player to avoid, you know, maybe a future penalty kick or a future caution or a future send off or a future foul that would be very dis disadvantageous for that team take those opportunities because you would want someone to take those opportunities for you. So, um, also remember Howard Webb said, build up your input into the game gradually. Okay, build it up gradually. So, come in early by talking or by expression or by voice, all right? Then come whistle, then come caution, then come send up. But see if you can get in there early with some of those other forms of communication. In this video, uh, we've got a, I don't know, U17, 18, 19 boys, boys game. Um, and this is early, within the first you know, 10 to 15 minutes of the game, the referee notices uh, Blue, uh, number 15, kind of using his hands a lot, and kind of like being grabby, kind of holding-ish, whatever, right? And the referee is uncomfortable with it, all right? Or it comes to the referee's attention. So rather than coming first with a whistle on uh, a stoppage for a direct free kick for black, the referee says, uh, wait till my whistle, and runs down and has a quick word with blue. Blue receives the feedback very positively, and it was a very healthy thing for the player, for the ref, and for the game, okay? This is really what we're going for. Um, and uh, the ref, you know, said it quietly and noticed that the ref didn't shout it and the ref didn't like embarrass the player, right? But just, hey, please watch the hands. Okay, done. All right, and he got the message and then we're moving on. That's, that's, that's kind of a way of, um, you know, it's really a kind gesture to do toward the player so then the player can kind of get used to how the ref's going to call the game, all right? So, um, again, I hope that's helpful.